several great options. We've got old school Torok. Oh, hey. Yeah, come on in. Are you the one I called about that Nintendo 64? Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, come on up. We're not busy right now at all. It's a late hour, so it's all yours. Okay, yeah, we have everything that you wanted to talk about brought up. Uh, I went ahead and took the liberty to get some of our Nintendo 64 games, bring them on up, so we can just have a seat right here and go through everything you wanted to see. All right, great. Yeah, have a seat. Be my guest. Okay, so you have a specific video game that you're here to pick up, or are you uh, looking for recommendations? Looking for recommendations. All right, that is going to be perfect tonight. Um, because I brought up a lot of games, so as you can see, we've got a, a good stack of Nintendo 64 games and not just um, any run-of-the-mill games. We've got a lot of the favorites here and a lot of the most popular games that came out at that time. So I think you're going to be really impressed with the, op the options that you have tonight. So um, since you're open for uh, suggestions, I, I guess I'll start with a few questions to kind of gauge what kind of games you're looking for. And I'll just take some notes here and uh, that way I can give you a great recommendation that I think you'll be able to take home and enjoy. Um, now, are you in need of a console or controllers or anything? Just the games. All right. Ready to get right into it. I love it. Okay. So um, my first question, when you come home, uh, let's say on a weekday, and you're coming home from work or school and you're ready to sit down and unwind, um, what kind of mood are you in on those weekdays? Are you ready to relax? Are you ready to um, hit the ground running? What, what's kind of the vibe that you have at those times? Ready to kind of kick back? Um, do you like something slow or fast paced um, on those kind of evenings? A little slower pace, okay. So we got ready to unwind, slow paced. Okay, um, that's great. So when we get to that weekend, you know, Friday night, it's it's the end of the work week or the end of the school week, and you have a couple days out in front of you. Maybe you have nothing that you have to do. You've got no responsibilities that weekend. Maybe maybe you just have a nice weekend off. At that time, what kind of gear does your mind shift into? Is it more of a, a um, adventurous um, mood or are you down for maybe some competition? A little more adventurous, okay. Uh, I'm kind of the same way. Maybe ready to uh, strike out on, uh, on your own and discover something that maybe was lost during the week and lost during the grind, am I right? Yeah, okay. So we're a little bit adventurous during the weekends. All right, so let's say that we have a really stressful time going on. Maybe you have a big project at work or school, or maybe you have maybe some stuff going on in your personal life and you really just need to get away from it all. Um, at that time, are you looking to kind of lean back into something that you're used to, maybe that you've been playing in the past, or maybe just something you don't have to think about and can kind of just let your mind go numb? That's, that sounds good in those situations. Okay, I thought so. So I think I have a great idea for you. All right. So with that in mind, um, we'll start with that first category, those weekday grind nights. Um, and we'll see if we can find something that you like. So if I just take a look here at our selection we need something a little more laid back that might be a good one there that's not a bad one maybe something not too competitive a little relaxing at the beach perhaps nothing too open world maybe something with 
simplistic rules. I think this is our option right down here. So. Pokemon Snap. Have you played this one before? You haven't? Great. So this is that perfect type of game if you don't really want to get too overly involved. Maybe you only have an hour or two before you have to you know, go to bed before you get up early again in the next morning. Um, it's that perfect weekday night game that you can put in, uh, progress a little bit, and not really have to feel pressured to beat that next big boss or hit that high score that, you're, that you've been working towards. This is just a great leisurely game that you can just dabble in, you know, as you as you feel fit. So, um, this game here, uh, as you can see, yeah, you can get a closer look. So, this game is pretty simple. You are actually just on an island, and you are taking pictures of different Pokemon in their natural habitat. So. Uh, it's kind of a side spin-off game. It's not like your traditional Pokemon games at all. You do not have to catch them all, you know, as they say. Um, it's just trying to get the best pictures and uh, take a picture of each of the Pokemon that the professor asks you to take a picture of at each level. So it takes you on a nice, slow ride throughout the different habitats, and you get to see all these different Pokemon in their nice N64 uh, polygon look and see them kind of interact in different animations that you really haven't seen up to this point when this game came out. So it's a great blast from the past and just a nice, um, easygoing, relaxing, you know, kind of a cozy game, as, as they say. So as you can hear, we've got a nice cartridge inside. Um, these cases are great. They really protect the cartridge and really have minimal um, space to move around in there. So as we uh, get a nice opening here, you can see inside we have the housing of the game. And the cartridge is in great condition. So it's just, they don't make them like these anymore with with disc and obviously the virtual downloads. Something about these cartridge-based games, they're just often very nostalgic and um, there's just something about them, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but obviously you know all too well is while you're here, so. Um, is that a game that you would be interested in for those weekday nights. Um, perfect. Okay. So I will just set it right here off to the side and we will move on to your next game, your weekend warrior game. <laughs> All right. So as you said, if I look at my notes, yeah. All right. You were looking for a little more adventure during that weekend, you're looking for a little bit more of a bite to your games. Um, so, if we look over here, let's see what well, we've got. A lot of options on the Nintendo, the Nintendo 64. They had a great open world and large scale adventure games. Mm, several great options we've got. Old school Torok, a little bit of a uh, thrill. We've got The Legend of Zelda sequels and originals. We've got some Mega Man, Unsung, Mario Kart 64, not quite what we're looking for. You know what? What do you say we think a little bit outside of the box? Stick with me here. Okay. You uh, no doubt have heard about The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario. Um, a game
game that hasn't quite maintained peak popularity as those two um, is Mega Man. Um, obviously very popular for years, um, especially with the older systems or handhelds, and still very popular overseas. Um, mostly, you know, in Japan, uh, it's, it's great. Uh, this game is quite different than your normal Mega Man games. This game is very similar to Super Mario 64. Um, it is in that same vein. It is a 3D platformer, not quite platformer, but a 3D adventure game. It moves around similar um, with the 360 degree camera angles and um, a slower paced uh, problem solving kind of adventure open world game. Um, it is quite challenging at times. Uh, it's not as polished as the Super Mario 64, but if we are looking for a game that perhaps you haven't played or perhaps your friends haven't played, this might be a great one to you know, pop in during that weekend and uh, try something new in there. So um, it's just, I think it's worth a try. Uh, just as your other games, I will give you a look and make sure that you are happy with the cartridge quality and condition. I have only one of these in stock. It is quite hard to find at times, and it's something I think that say you were to complete over uh, you know several weekends i think it's quite one of those badge of honor games that if you bring up uh, you know at a party or with friends or you know just while you're talking to other people who share the same hobby i think it's going to garner you know questions about hey what, what is that game what is, what is that like and maybe a great conversation starter so um what do you say I, I, i'll give you a deal on this one I'd, I'd really like to see this one get a great home. I'd like to hear what others think. Perfect. I thought you might be open to try something new. Okay, so I'll put that one to the side. Just as your other one. So, your last category that you're looking for is kind of that mind-numbing game. Um, and as you, you know, like you put there, uh, maybe you have plenty of things to think about, plenty of challenge already going on in your life, and you just want something that you can just turn off your brain and play and kind of get those dopamine hits that you need without really having to work that hard for them. And because to be honest, we all need those at times. So, um, with that in mind, I think we have really two options here that would fit such a request, but I think one that really fits the bill. So this is a classic and is somewhat of a cult fan favorite um, and I think that uh, you'll be quite relieved and relaxed when you play it. This is Polaris um, Snowcross. This game is exactly what you think. This is a great snowmobile racing game. It transports you to the snowy alpine mountainside locales that you would expect to find people racing snowmobiles on and who doesn't like a pristine and you know serene snowy landscape especially if you're in the hot summer days dog days of summer 
or you know you're in those those dreary winter winter times without snow those are the worst no leaves on the trees um, you know not much green and no snow to balance it out so maybe on those days that you feel like you've just had enough and you want to you know put this game in and go to those quiet snowy sides of, of mountains um, to get a nice dopamine rush as you race downhill or across the slopes I think this game would really scratch that itch it's one of those games that is very simple there is no you know nothing to be surprised about when you put it in and sometimes those moments are great. I think we, I think, I think we both know that. So I will allow you to take a nice look at the cartridge to make sure everything is as it should be. So just as the others, the cartridge fits nicely in the case. Um, and of course, as with all of these, all artwork is original as it was sold and packaged during retail. So, does this game interest you for those long overdue breaks from reality without the need to think too much about your refuge? Of course. Of course. I'm glad to hear it. So, those are the three games. Uh, are there any more that you would like at this moment? Anything else from any of our other video game genres? We have many different systems in stock and many games to choose from. Just the Nintendo 64, just the three games today. Great, that is, that is great. All right, so we've uh, tried out all three games and we are ready to get you uh, packed up and on your way. So uh, I really want to thank you for coming in today. We love being able to take people through through these games, especially on these slower, slower evenings that allow us the time to really get into what we're looking for and give that customer that personal experience that everyone likes. So um, please come again anytime. We, like I said, we have plenty of games and a lot to show you. So um, I hope you enjoyed your experience and I hope you are eager to return. Great. Okay. Please.